We hope you all enjoy the happy holidays and a very Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen, because we are back here on Long Island for one more non-conference game, the Adelphi Panthers men's basketball team getting set to host the Spartans of St. Thomas Aquinas across the state rivalry renewed. And welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, Northeast 10 Now. I'm Zach Wilson along with Nico Scarlatos. And Nico, as I said, it's a cross-state rivalry that we're seeing between these teams for the first time in a few years. And it's matches like this that make it exciting to watch. And the Knights now extend their lead up 27 to 24. Another turnover. Here's Diamond going one on one. No resistance. The transfer from Central Georgia Tech getting more action and they force a timeout on Adelphi. And now here's Pinto. Another opportunity. Trying to go for glory. He scores! Astonishing! Leo Pinto with the first goal of the season for the Knights. And they take a 1 0 lead with under 34 minutes left in the second half. Again to 2-2. That's looped out to right field, chased after it by Mancero, looking at the wall, it's out of here! Anthony Fontana, his first hit of the game is a home run, a 3-1 blast, and the Knights are within three. This will be Walton looking to try and get some more points here. His first trip to the free throw line today, he can't connect. He's been shooting 69% from the free throw line. Adelphi now is a team two of six from the free throw line. Got to improve those numbers if they want to stay in this game. So there, here's a step back on the shot. Goes off the back iron and a good block box out by Delaney to allow his team to pick up the rebounds. Walton. Mm, Delaney was calling for it, but Walton will keep it. He still had a lot of space to work with to try and bounce it right back out. 17 minutes left to go in the second half. Still a four-point lead for the Spartans. Same way it was to begin this game. half. Here's Delaney. Driving it inside, moving around, and a good floater right there off against Rizquez. Good patience that time by Delaney. We've seen that a couple times from multiple Adelphi players here early in this second half, and it's led to basket. They're down by just two, and now stepping out of bounds and turning it over are the Spartans. So the momentum here may be shifting in Adelphi's favor here in the first three and a half minutes of half number two. And with that, St. Thomas Aquinas will pull another substitution as Talaeus will check back into the game. So there's that full court press again. There are tests here for Adelphi to penetrate. Jamison nearly with a little too much contact. Now Jackson driving inside. He'll dish it out. Adelphi looking to try and get a patient here as they look to tie or take the lead. Bryce nearly lost it. Jackson thinking lead. Got it! Mason Jackson has put Adelphi back in front for the first time since the first half. Good ball movement on that last possession for Adelphi, and they found Jackson wide open in the far corner, 4-3, and now an excellent pass there for Jamison to find the wide open teammate under the basket. Well, Rizquez with that big body is tough to guard against him, sending tall at 6'9", the junior from Barcelona. But Adelphi has been working to try and keep pace with St. Thomas Aquinas. Panthers were down by as much as 9, while for the Spartans, they were down by as much as 10. Oh, no, look, I think that was Delaney. Oh, just lodged in there. Now batting number three, Anthony Matasaro. Looked awfully close. McElroy just trying to hold on, but the bat pretty much go as far as it could have for it to be called a strike, and he may have well, well broke his wrist. So now here's Matasaro. It's been very dastardly in his spot today in game one. Takes the first pitch outside of ball one. A single, a walk. And a hit by a pitch. Has yet to be retired. Pitch is up high. 2-0. and oh. In that fifth inning, both starting pitchers only had one out. It was quite an interesting out for both sides. But afterwards, nothing else afterwards. The pitch is down low ball three. A righty versus righty matchup here. And quickly, Kazerski is behind 3-0. and oh. Again. That 5-6 spot for Malloy has really been quite a ferocious enemy for Queens today. And the pitch. It's right down the middle for a strike. Now, six play appearances so far between those two batters. There's only one instance where it's been retired. 3-1. Another curveball for a strike. 3-2. and two. Kaczerski went behind 3-0, and but he was able to get the next two strikes. Another numerical sequence. Three balls, two strikes, one out. 
There's a payoff. Foul ball. And for the Knights, they're 11 and 2 at home this year. Wofford Malloy, they are 5 and 5 on the road. Right now, it doesn't really seem to be much of a factor, even though Queens is on a comeback trail. Again, the payoff. That one's blooped out to right field, chased after it by Jimenez. He waits, and he makes the catch. And for the first time today, Manicero is retired. Two gone.